What's new in MIMUI 12 RC 6.1 custom ROM based on MIUI 12 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in MIMUI 12 RC 6.1 custom ROM based on MIUI 12 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. In case you want to find out what was new in MIMUI 12 RC 5 build, I have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of this video. Right off the bat, when you boot your device, you will notice that they do have a new boot logo which looks pretty cool. Next up, if you go into settings, my device, you will see that they have a new logo in the MIUI version tab as well and they also have a new icon for volt which you can see in your status bar when you have volt enabled next up they have updated all the system apps so if you go into gallery and you have a picture of the sky here it is and you go into edit and as you can see you do have the option of downloading new sky filters tap on it make sure you're connected to the internet it is going to download new filters and as you can see we just got the message that the plugin was downloaded successfully now if you go into sky you have a new option called dynamic and here you can add snow effect rain effect twilight effect cloudy effect whatever effect you want to let's try adding the rain effect tap on it so that it can download it and once the download has finished successfully it is going to apply that effect and also going to add a sound effect let's mute the sound for now here it is as you can see the effect has been applied if you are happy with it click on the check mark it is going to create a small video out of it and here on screen is the video which we just created using the new dynamic filters which we get in sky mode in the gallery option next up going back into the gallery let's say you have a video so if you go into memories and then you go into video editor you can now import videos over here as you can see right now it is loading the plugin and video editor was downloaded successfully we'll tap on it one more time here it is these are the videos which are available on my phone let's select this one tap on the arrow it is going to import the video and now you have a full-fledged editor so you have an editor you have filters you can add captions and different options let us try the kiddo one so it is going to download the kiddo effect and let's see how that looks and there it is the kiddo effect was downloaded successfully of course it is in chinese and if you're happy with it all you need to do is click on save and again it is going to export the video so you do have a video editor which you can use in case you create youtube videos or any other video content moving over to the camera application you can see that we have a more tab which is similar to what you have on gcam however if you go into settings you can change this so we'll go into settings customize camera modes here it is do you want the more tab or do you want the more panel let us choose the more panel and now if you go back to the camera application to access the panel you have to swipe up and if you swipe down the panel will be dismissed then they have added new features for video toolbox so if you go into settings and special features look for video toolbox make sure it is enabled and enable it in an application as well i have enabled it in the gallery application so when i open the gallery application i can now access my video toolbox from here and if you go into style you can actually change the color temperature of your display so right now it is set to original we can change it to outdoor or cinema or retro or black and white so this is a new feature which has been added with video toolbox and of course mem ui 12 has added it to their rom next up they have also updated the system launcher so if you go into settings home screen scroll down you do have the option of hiding app icons which is going to hide application icons from your application drawer and the home screen as well next up they have also fixed full screen gestures which were getting restricted when you were using upi or vpn apps and permission issues for upi and banking apps have also been fixed along with notification issue in sleep mode another advantage which i found is if you go into settings and additional settings full screen display make sure that full screen gestures are enabled you now have the option of swipe up 
from the corner for Google Assistant. So if I swipe up from the corner, bam, there it is. You can see that Google Assistant kicked in and it is working like a boss. Then if you go into settings and you go into sound and vibration, you will see a new option called sound assistant. What is this sound assistant? Well, once you enable this toggle, you can now control the media sound in multiple applications. So let's say I have music playing from the music application and this is me audio application or me music. Let's play the music and there it is. You can see that I have the slider to control the volume from the music application and now if I open another music player which is this one and play this different song tap on the volume rocker here it is I can now control the volume for this music player as well and both of these settings will be saved so in case you want to have different volume from different applications you have a feature for that as well which is now baked into MAME UI 12 the next set of features which i'm going to tell you i'm not sure whether they were added with rc6 or they are present in rc5 as well but i noticed them right now so i am letting you know about it so if you go into settings and always on display and lock screen and scroll down you have two separate toggles which are power menu access and quick setting access and if you disable these two toggles you will not be able to access the power menu and quick settings when the device is locked Going back into settings, always on display and lock screen, you also have the option of customizing your side panel shortcuts. Here it is, you can choose what you want in the side panel on the lock screen. Another feature which I noticed is if you go into settings and display and then you go into your status bar, you can now choose to switch the control center side. So right now if I swipe down from the right hand side, I get the control center. If I swipe from the left, I get my notifications. If I enable this option, if I swipe from the right, I get my notifications. And if I swipe from the left, I get the control center. So there it is peeps. Those were the new features which have been added to MAME UI 12 RC 6.1 custom ROM based on MAME UI 12. And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.